Hello guys, this is my Tench Care video. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because not a lot of people know anything about these fish, or little. Okay, so <coughs> I'm just going to talk you through the basics in keeping these fish, and the future of these lovely fish. Um, see, <laughs> there's two varieties you can have, the green and the golden. Uh, nothing different, just the colour. Okay, so Latin name is Tinka Tinka for the green one, Tinka Tinka Var for the golden one. I'll stop really care, it's just knowledge. But anyway, here we go. <coughs> Tench, just like most other cold water fish, are quite wasteful. You know, they will produce a lot of waste. Um, uh, so, yeah, a lot of waste. So you need your filters to cope with that. Uh, say maybe uh, the same as a goldfish, maybe a little bit higher, depending on the size and what you really feed them. I mean, I feed them aquarium and advanced nutrition gold. They love this. This is fine food. <coughs> it's really good. Uh, tench, they like a hiding spot. You know, I, I provide them with a new hiding spot here. Um, as they like to hide. Uh, also, they like pond weeds. This is elder, no, uh, Eldia densa. Oxygenating plant takes in carbon dioxide at day, releases oxygen at night, something like that. Um, <coughs> these guys will grow very big. Okay. Um, you will need to get these in a pond. They will not stay this size. They will. They are quite good cold water tank busters. Okay, so you only get a pond uh, about six foot long, six, four foot deep, and around three foot wide, minimal. Not for one tent, maybe for two or three. Um, these fish also like worms, blood worms. You get in little packets, and they're like catfish pellets as well, every so often. I really don't recommend feeding those catfish pellets all the time, though. Because uh, they will get a bit... The water quality will go down. As for water quality, <coughs> they can withstand up to 25 centimetre... 25, 25 degrees Celsius. Um, not a tropical fish temperate maybe, but they can withstand quite cold temperatures as well, as they do live in Britain, and it's really cold sometimes, mostly, well it rains a lot. <laughs> um, as for substrate requirements, not a lot really, not a lot, just get some good gravel, something fine, uh, it doesn't have to be fine, it can be great lumps of gravel, It they really don't care, but a mud Muddy substrate they like, and a gravel maybe like this as well, they like. Um, also for aeration, they can withstand low oxygen. Um, so you don't have to have this going on all the time, although you can, if it helps. Um, if you have goldfish in here, you may need to. But these guys can withstand a low oxygen, dissolved oxygen content in the water. Uh, that's another bonus. And you can also withstand quite a high salt uh, salt content as well. Yeah, give us a good yawn. <laughs> um. <coughs> <coughs> so that's what it is, really. Beautiful fish. Um, not really that expensive in pet shops. Maybe seven pound fifty each. Since you are going to take care of each fish, feed it until its life is over. I mean, these grow will grow quite big. They, again, depending on the diet, these grow very well on koi food, floating food, koi pellets. These go lovely in a koi pond. You know, they are really nice semi-addition. If you need a bit of a pond filler fish, I don't say filler, but if you need like a something else other than koi, which some people do often want, tench are the perfect alternative. Um, not much difference from goldfish and koi. Uh, they will grow really fast in one year. 
then it will slow down as I get older. Uh, this one, this one here, you're looking at now the green one. It's about two years old. The one behind him, this one here, two years old. I think these ones are about a year old, maybe a bit younger. So uh, next year, I'm expecting them to grow very big, and uh, we're getting a pond dug for them. Uh, so they're like plenty of hiding places. Good filtration. Uh, good, f good quality food. Really, if you can get them, don't get the, uh, don't get um, really cheap scabby food. You know, I find on this, they're absolutely fine. You know, they're quite resilient to diseases. Um, they haven't caught any so far that I don't know of. Oh uh, yeah, so um, happy fish keeping in the future. And, uh, bye.